Good day everyone, this is LJ sa Fan ng Buloto and I am your philosophy teacher online. So this is, however of course this video is not going to be an online class. Uh, what I'm doing in this video particularly is that I wanted to make a vlog uh, on the day-to-day -day life of a teacher. A teacher that struggles to find his way making video presentations because as you know uh, if you are a teacher listening and, or watching to this video um, probably you have uh, struggled in making day-to-day -day videos as well as lessons as well as managing LMS uh, online uh, which of course is quite new to many of us because we are used to face-to-face -face classes and I think it's uh, something that we could always uh, share to you know the, to the public you know, for our students to also see what's happening behind the camera and behind the PowerPoint presentations that we uh, give to them and the notes that we give to them uh, weekly I don't know uh, in what basis you give uh, most of your notes or your um, study materials or modules whatnot to the students so welcome to my channel and uh, most would say that the teacher's day would actually start in the morning well that is quite true uh, during the normal days before the pandemic happened but now online classes are up uh, most of our preparations are actually in the evening so today um, is Monday so I'm making I have already uploaded my pre-recorded video lectures in Ed, no no in Google Classroom and in uh, YouTube which of course the students could, al could already access within the week because at the moment uh, students are still coming in so what I'm doing is on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays I would already make my presentations and on Thursdays and Fridays I would uh, record them so I want you to come along with me and you know I will show you how I do things so what I'm doing is uh, a presentation on general ethics uh, in one of the chapters on the book that I'm using uh, it was produced by my mentor uh, of course it was edited by my mentor but, uh, of course I'm using this as my, as my main resource and I'm uh, that's why I'm using the exact title Anyway, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to also capture at the same time the title as well as the picture because uh, it seems to me that students are particularly interested or they are more interested with certain lessons if they would see the thumbnail to be nice, for example. So I would try as much as possible to capture the, what do you call this, the title along with the, the background. So here, as you can see, the title is culture and moral behavior so what I did was try to look for pictures that clicks with a certain uh, what do you call this themes on culture but of course that's not all that it is in uh, the lesson of culture and moral behavior but the idea there is to capture the interest of the students so I'm um, show you some of the videos that I've already made so I made a particular file because the thing in uh, the thing in online teaching is that you have to be organized in the files or in the what do you call this in terms of um, the categorizations of your files because you cannot simply risk that you would spend your time for example making a particular video when you would lose it uh, later on or probably you would lose a particular PowerPoint presentation or notes so you have to make sure that uh, for example you have made some notes already for a particular subject you automatically you know register it with uh, one of the uh, what you call this the file that is particularly designated uh, to the subject so I'm sorry I'm, I'm showing you some of the serious stuff that I'm making as an online teacher but I think this is uh, helpful in terms of how you uh, manage your file list and how you manage your con content um, here I essentially teach six subjects actually six no, six classes um, with five subjects and uh, five preparations so this is GE8 or what we call general ethics I also teach introduction to religion but um, despite all that uh, of course all of these things are essentially materials uh, what we have uh, what I have here is the video lecture option so I already made a 
what do you call this a file or a, a folder for my video lectures so when a student for example would ask for a video the hard uh, not hard copy uh, you know something that could be passed through usb for example or if they could not essentially um you know find signal i could simply send this to them uh, but uh, so far most of my students could actually access uh, youtube so in ethics i already made one two three four five six uh, this is, uh, I think, minimum of 45 minutes each. So I have already five, five videos. And I'm going to make another one today. On uh, Introduction to Religion, World Belief Systems, I still have two because uh, the class just started last week. In Logic, I already have three. Um, but of course, some of the videos are really long. Uh, in STS, I have, yeah, three also. Um, in fact, uh, what I'm doing in the moment is to make sure that um, all of my students could actually access the files that uh, was designated for that particular subject. Because if I will be using Zoom lectures, um, the problem is, yes, I will be able to meet them live, but some students could not simply attend the class because of interconnect internet connection issues. So I don't want them to subject to that particular you know, limitation. So it's something that we should all consider because uh, most students could, couldn't really, you know, uh, connect to the internet. So what I did was pre-record all my videos at least uh, once or twice a week, uh, depending on the, you know, density of the topic and uh, upload it in YouTube and make it available for them on a specific time that they could all access it. Uh, of course, there are still students coming in. So what I do is, of course, um, I would still open it uh, for the students to come. And they could just simply open the, uh, the Google Classroom or whatever platforms that they're using um, to access the files as well as the videos that I have made for them. So uh, this is actually good because then, uh, the coming semesters, although, of course, there might be changes in some of our lectures. But the good thing about it is uh, you could just simply upload all of your resources uh, just like you know in Khan, Acad Khan Academy for example um, and you could specialize also uh, you could edit uh, you could you know add more content on your uh, video lectures later on as you go now one question probably that you may ask me is how I make my video lectures so I have it installed by my uh, good friend uh, and my proxy best man in my wedding um, his name is Lance Montealto. If you're interested, I could tag him in the video and you could have it installed to him if you're in the Maguete City with, of course, you have to pay some, him some fee. Uh, but of course, this guy is really cool because he had my OBS installed and of course, there's some changes there that uh, he made available uh, that uh, I could be able to upload my videos quite efficiently because the file is you know a little uh, lower than the other what do you call this platforms that uh, could be used so what i'm using is obs okay so obs is a you know is a screen recording platform this is i think also used by other teachers but the good thing here is that you could switch the screens could switch the screens and you could also use the window for example if you're going to use a Microsoft PowerPoint and there are also keys or hotkeys which you could use directly so for example if you would press enter it would automatically record okay if you want to for example exit or stop the recording you could simply press escape if you're interested with this uh, I could have you connected to my friend because he's a computer geek he's studying um, computer engineering in Silliman University so this is how I record my videos and um, after that I would be uploading it on my YouTube channel however of course most of the time most of the time I don't put my lectures on public or you know I, I, will, I don't usually share it on social media uh, because of course uh, it has to be confidential of course the classes are entirely you know restricted to the students who are enrolled in the class so probably later on i would make it public but uh, i would prob uh, i would usually put it on unlisted so that the link uh, the ones who have all you know the ones who have the link 
only have the link uh, could uh, essentially access my video lectures so of course this is not to pagdamot or you know don't share to others for example uh, this is simply to make things professional because as you know students are paying for the class and if you would share it simply on social media um, you know that defeats the purpose but uh, if you want to share your knowledge for example uh, in public uh, you could always make it available but in my case I think this is my personal discretion that I don't make it public yet um, also besides that point is that uh, I don't want to open you know the <laughs> The discussions because certain probably certain political discussions in my uh, philosophical lectures that might be uh, you know against some people or some political figures at the moment so we're trying to get away from that uh, you know scenario so that's my first vlog I, I think this is some sort of boring say hi wifey hi okay this is quite boring but uh, this is my attempt at least to show you uh, you know a glimpse of how an online teacher works at night and you know uh, roles online so thank you so much see you on my next video bye bye and god bless